Hey guys, this is Kate with the Blitzy Creative Team and I have a hodgepodge of holiday fun for you today. So I couldn't decide on just one project, so I have several. So I'm going to show you pretty quickly and not every step of these projects, but if you have any questions, just leave them below and I will be happy to answer them. And if there's enough interest, I can do like a whole video on, on this one project. But I just, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to kind of show you what some ideas for holiday using your paper um, or scrapbooking supplies or card making supplies or project life supplies to make some holiday decor and gift wrap and tags and cards. So that's what we're going to do. And one of the things that I find myself using the most are, uh, there's a couple of dies from Lawn Fawn. One is the treat bag and the other one is this pillow box die. I just, I love this die. I use it all the time. And what I like to do with it is to cut out the shape with some really fun pattern paper. This Miriam Bright collection from American Crafts is super fun and perfect for like gift wrap because it has some very small patterns. And this is the six by six, so it's shrunken down. But here are three of the little pillow boxes that I cut from that paper. And then I'll add some cute embellishments. But the way that it works is one end has a little divot or a little thumb notch and it just pops open like so and you can put like a gift card or a little candy or money or whatever you want inside but i just think they're super fun and cute and you can embellish these in so many different ways for example you can just add some washi tape oh sorry about my chair you can just add some washi tape and like a bow or even just a bow would be fun um i have these bows from american crafts i believe they were in the same sale as that paper um but they're just like glitter, little glitter bows. You could also, you can make these too if you wanted to, but I'm going to just kind of um, raise up the edges a little bit, like pull it apart to give it a little more dimension because it gets kind of flat in the packaging and in transit and everything. So I'm just going to kind of pop it up a bit and stick it right in the middle. And even just that adds, a, adds just enough super cute detail. Isn't that cute? So that's one really fun idea to do for like gift card holders or something is just take a, a die and some fun pattern paper. It doesn't involve any stamping or anything like that. So that's really fun. Um, another thing that I created are a bunch of little tags and some of these are a lot more of a process than than others for example this one I cut out of that same pattern paper and then I added some stickers to it just some they're from Heidi Swap and they're just some white snowflakes and I think that makes a super cute tag just tie a little twine to the end and it's since it's a single sided pattern paper you can um, easily write on the back like a two from so I think that's a really good idea this one is part of the Lawn Fawn stitched ornaments and I stamped this kind of wreath with a little sentiment in the center and it has a little place for your string. This I did out of some watercolor paper and then I did a screen. Um, this is also from Heidi Swap. It's a like a silk screen and you just um, stick it to whatever surface you're using and put your paint over it and scrape it off and the paint seeps through and leaves a really cute impression. Another one that I did with this silk screen is this deer head and then I just added the little bow at the bottom which is really fun. And then this one is just just an embellishment and a little um, sticker from Little Bee. So those are some really fun things. So what I'm going to show you now is how to stamp on gift wrap. So you're going to see at the end some picture, a lot of pictures, a lot of stamped gift wrap. Some is a wrapping paper, some is gift bags. They're super fun to take all of your Christmassy or holiday stamps and add to just some plain gift wrap that you can get from a lot of different places. So this is just a little um, like pop-up box. Get to focus here. Focus. Just a little pop-up box. I already started on this side, but then I realized that I didn't, I folded this in thinking that it needed to be, but the box closes like this. So the, the wreath should really finish. So I'm gonna work on this side. 
And the stamp set that I am using is this one from W Plus Dine. It's an older stamp set, but you can use any stamp set that you have. You can use snowflakes or ornaments or anything really. I think that this one in particular or a stamp like this, I know Hero Arts has a really cute one that's trees. It's very similar to this. It's the same concept. It's kind of a building one. This one has all these different layers that you can stamp in different colors, which gives it really great dimension and like depth to the stamp, I think. Um, this one has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little tab right here. And that tells you what direction, you know, how to match, line it up, match it up, if you will. Um, let me grab my ink. So for this, I'm using pigment ink. I've found that on gift wrap and wrapping paper, craft paper, that pigment ink works the best. This one is from Colorbox. It is called Spring Annuals. And the color that I am using is called Lime. And it is a super vibrant, super pigmented um, green ink. And this is my bottom layer. So I'm going to make this one the lightest and then get darker as... I apply the rest of the layers and like I said I know that Hero Arts has a stamp set out that's very similar in concept to this but it's Christmas trees which would be super fun I just don't have that one so there's our bottom layer and then our next layer is going to be this one and I'm just going to use different blocks for this because I ha I'm going to do it multiple times, so I want to have enough. Um, I don't have to clean it and take it off every time. And that's a good idea if you're doing multiple stamping. like, Or you can just go ahead and stamp them all if you wanted to. But I'm going to do them in, with different color combinations. But if you weren't doing that, then you could just um, stamp them all at once. Then change out your, your stamp if you don't have multiple blocks. So that's our next layer, and then there's this layer. So I really love making projects like this around the holidays. I feel like I feel like any time of year is a great time of year for a handmade gift or gift wrap or tag or something like that, but especially around the holidays. And there's just so much fun product inspiring product I think um, to use that it's kind of hard not to just want to make everything you know I've, I always find myself thinking I can accomplish all of these different projects and I'm lucky if I get two or three of them done but I say dream big right so this is some Hero Arts neon red ink and you would think oh neon red ink but it actually stamps really pretty on this craft bag. So that's our first one. And I'm actually going to show you how I did the one on the tag that was just, um, it was just kind of a branchy image. So I'm gonna take um, some archival ink. I'm going to clean my stamp off. So that I don't get pigment ink onto my archival ink. I am really sorry about my chair. It is super squeaky. I need my husband to put some WD-40 on it for me, but you know, I keep forgetting to tell him. I think I've told him, but I haven't. And he doesn't hear my chair, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take some archival black ink. And this is a really fun thing to, uh, look, to take a look at your stamp sets and see if you have any of these kind of layering stamp sets. And if you do, look at the foremost layer or the most minimal layer and see what else you can do with it. Because, for example, this one, I think that this is so fun. You're going to see how it turns out. It's pretty awesome um, that you can do this kind of branchy, twiggy, more barren look with the same stamp set. And it looks completely different than that full kind of green stamp. So... I don't know, I always like to get multiple uses out of my stamp sets. Now this one has a layer that's like berries and it actually lines up perfectly with these twigs. So when we stamp it, 
if I put it in the right place, which is the key, right? Hopefully it is. It lines up. And I think it looks really cool and totally different from that one. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures now of all the, the gift wrap that I did that I made. And I used um, a bunch of different stamps that I had on hand. And then I used some of my favorite ink pads. I used some white um, Hero Arts white pigment ink. I used these color box um, petals, these petal points. I have several different ones of these that I've had for years. They last forever. They're pretty awesome. And like I said, I do recommend using a pigment ink on any sort of like gift wrappy thing. So I'm going to um, also show you a watercolored background that I made. Now I saw another YouTuber do some something very, very, very similar to this. That's where I got the idea. So I want to give credit where credit is due. But I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I used the Ganzai Tombi um, watercolors from Kiritaki. And I just applied a very even coat of red watercolor. And then once it is totally dry, it has to be totally dry, I went back over it with the black and then some gold. And it was really fun. And I've made several different variations of a plaid since then. I'm a little bit plaid addicted right now. Okay. And then for the next project, I was a little home decor project. And this is super fun. And if you have a die cutting machine, it makes it so much easier. If you don't have a die cutting machine, like a, like a digital die cutting machine, then you could use just a regular die cutting machine. You could hand cut this. And there's a number of different ways you can do it and a number, number of different mediums that you could use. For this one, I just used some gold foil cardstock and just a plain canvas. And I um, combined two images. This image is from a um, like thanksgiving -y type thing. And then this one, of course, is the quote. So it's really fun to do it on cardstock and then I'll just glue it down. Or another thing that you can do, and this was my first time trying it and I think it's so awesome, is to cut it on vinyl. So this is some gold vinyl and it's adhesive on the back. So it's already a sticker. You don't have to worry about applying any adhesive to it. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to my canvas and then I will show you some pictures of how it turns out. I also have this image that I cut as well, these antlers that I think are gonna look awesome on a painted canvas. So here are the pictures of all of these projects. I know that it's a lot and that I went through them kind of quickly. So like I said, if you have any questions, just put them below. I'll be happy to answer them or like I said, show you in more detail, but I just had so many ideas I wanted to share it all. So thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to think outside of your, of your box, outside of the box with all of your holiday scrapbooking supplies. You can use them for so many different things and make sure to check out Blitzy for all of your crafty needs. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.